to show you a DIY. It's about damn time I do another DIY. And I'm actually gonna show you how to make the neon braid rope things that I have listed on my website in the product section. I'm wearing one right now. Mm -hmm. These are really cool. I just sort of actually happened upon them by accident one day. <laughs> one day I just, you know, happened to buy yards of bathing suit fabric. You can get this at any fabric store. It's quite hideous, isn't it? Look at this. Ooh. Would you want a bathing suit made out of this? Probably a Speedo. Probably. But it's not going to look like this hideous because look, when it's mixed in with other colors, you just get the pop of the pattern. I wanted to style a shoot with some metal jewelry and have some pops of neon color. And I wanted it to be something that could be stretchy, that we could wear like on our head, like a little headband. You can wear it long. This is the long rope one, so you can wear it long. You could double it up. You could wear it like around a boot. A, where's a belt? There's a dog somewhere around here. You could go for it. You need bathing suit material. Measure so you can measure it. Not necessary if you have your body. A nice coil of fairly thick wire, but flexible enough to bend it wire cutters, and pliers. Two pairs of pliers is ideal. Then you need, if you're making a bracelet or necklace and you want to clasp it, you need a clasp. You need one, two, three jump rings. Cut strips about this width. Now this is for a uh, bracelet, which we're braiding, which we wanted it to be thin. If you want it to be a little bit fatter like this guy, you would just cut wider strips. So see these are about, mm, I don't know what we say, this is maybe uh, three quarters of an inch. So you could do like an inch, inch and a half if you wanted it to be um, fatter. This is a very imperfect process. I will show you how imperfect it actually is. We lay out our fabric. We'll cut a strip. And I'm just gonna start cutting one so you can see this one's gonna be for like a fatter piece, so it's about an inch, inch and a half wide. And it is so gosh darn imperfect that I can't even do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I have my four strips. Why four, you ask? Because we're gonna do a fishtail braid. That's what gets the piece looking a little bit more substantial and intricate than if it were just a regular braid using three pieces. Tie a knot. To get it started. You can either hold it, if you're making a bracelet and you only need to braid a short length, you can kind of hold it with your finger. You could shut it in a door, maybe a door jam. Or you can use what I like to call the toe method. It also stretches your hamstring. So this is the fishtail braid. We've got four pieces. We do one to the side. Keep it nice and tight so it's not gonna be loose and flabby. But you just keep braiding. And then we'll do like in the cooking shows. Oh, let me just take this out of the oven. I just so happened to have a finished one right here. And I will show you how to seal it. Take a piece of the wire. I give myself a nice little uh, three or four inches. We get it started. We're going to seal it off before I untie the knot, cinch it up, and then you press it down with the pliers to really seal it. Now we can untie the knot, and then this is where we're creating our loop. We're going to take our jump ring and we're going to put it through on one of the pieces that looks like it's strong. Loop it around and then continue seal
feeling. I would give it another, let's say, maybe three or four loops around. Give it a cinch, trim it. And then tamp down the end, trim our original end. Okay, now we've got our jump ring on there and our nice little loop, but we've also got these tails. So now it's time to trim. Get it as close as possible. And finally, trim the little tail. Ta-da! So now we have our nice jump ring, which we can then put And then we'll do the same thing to the other side, but instead of putting the clasp, we'll just leave the jump ring, or if you wanted to, you could add another jump ring onto it, making the side for the clasp the clasp onto. Doot. So here we have two sealed sides. Of course, here at Mr. Kate, we put a lovely little tag on to mark it. So we got our braid, bracelet, necklace, rope, head thing, dog thing, thing, neon thing. And that's how you make the Mr. Kate neon braided rope thing. And I am currently holding a sale for these because we make a lot of these. They take a lot of time and I figured, you know what? Let me share the knowledge with everyone teach you how to do it. Then we're going to have a sale of ours. So if you want one of ours, please buy it on MrKate.com. We're having a sale on all three different options. And then they're going to be gone for good. So get them while they're hot. And if you don't get them while they're hot, then make your own.